Hello everybody, welcome to this two-part series on supplier-induced demand. In this video, I'm going to introduce a basic supplier-induced demand model. Let's go. So what is supplier-induced demand? Supplier-induced demand is a phenomenon that occurs when physicians take advantage of the information asymmetry that exists between them and their patients, convincing them to consume more healthcare services than medically necessary. This is a result of physicians including consideration of their own income in their optimal treatment decision for their patients. A classic model of supplier-induced demand is that of the McGuire Poly 1991 model. However, we won't be discussing that model in this set of videos. Rather, we're going to be taking a simpler approach, which goes and views the physician as a social planner. So we're going to be thinking about the physician as a social planner. And in this framework, right, he's going to be maximizing a value function, which consists of two parts. We're going to have this B, D, theta, which is going to be the patient of health status type theta, right? Their net benefit from receiving treatment D. And we're going to have this pi term, or really this alpha pi term, which is going to be the weighted profits from pro get providing treatment D. So our physician is going to go and be receiving profits from providing uh, this treatment D. Um, but it's going to be really entering their utility or their value function um, as transformed by alpha. Um, we're going to define uh, our benefits function and our profits uh, as follows, um, where your benefits function could be actually read as a net health benefits uh, function of some sort. If you don't know what that is, I would go and recommend um, looking at uh, our series on the theoretical foundations of cost effectiveness analysis, but you could read it in that type of light. And um, this profit function is just as follows, where you go and you have your revenues minus your costs, where uh, your utility uh, over here is going to be defined as some type of bliss point. Now, our task here is to be able to identify what the induced demand is, right? And it's going to involve three steps. We're going to first identify the treatment provided, assuming that there is no profit motive, right? That's going to be referred to as uh, D star. Um, we're going to identify the treatment provided, assuming that there is a profit motive, that we're going to call that D hat. And then we're going to compute the induced demand, which is going to look at the difference between D hat and D star. So step number one, we're going to identify the treatment provided, assuming that there is no profit motive. This is uh, assuming that our physician is acting as a perfect uh, principle of some sort. Um, in this case, or we should go and say he's acting as a perfect agent. Uh, in that case, that's probably uh, the more correct language uh, in this case, where he's just going to, and maximizing our patient's benefit here. And uh, we just come up with this solution here of D star, which is just theta minus gamma PD all over two. Next, we're going to go and identify the treatment provided assuming that there is a profit motive for D star. So this is just taking our value function initially stated, uh, plugging in our functional forms, and then we're just going to solve it again. Again, in this case, d hat is just going to be equal to theta plus alpha pd minus c all over two minus gamma pd all over two. That's what we have here. Now, to compute our induced demand, we're just going to subtract uh, these two off from each other. Subtracting these two off, we go and get our induced demand, which is just going to be alpha PD minus C all over two. This is our induced demand. Now, before I finish up here with everyone, um, I wanna go and provide some visuals, right? Which is just going and plotting um, what our value is, right? And where our demands are going to go and be. Now, we're going to go and notice that our optimal treatments that we're going to find for D star and D hat, um, they're going to depend on if there is a profit motive uh, involved. And correspondingly, we can really see that the difference between uh, these two here is just going to be our induced demand. So um, this visual is just something fun to go and look at. And it goes and shows that there is um, some induced demand here. So you're just looking at the difference between these two objectives. The first objective being where our physician is just considering patient benefit. And the second objective is where they're now mixing in their profit motive. So this is, I think, the simplest supplier-induced demand framework 
Uh, in the next video, we're going to be talking about uh, supplier-induced demand, where there is diagnostic risk, and we're going to see what that is all about. So I will see you all in the next video. Take care.